Buckminster fullerene is a type of fullerene with the formula C60. It has a cage-like fused ring structure, truncated icosahedron, that resembles a soccer ball, football, made of 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons, with a carbon atom at each vertex of each polygon and a bond along each polygon edge. Preparation and occurrence It was first generated in 1984 by Eric Rolfing, Donald Cox and Andrew Kaldor using a laser to vaporize carbon in a supersonic helium beam. In 1985 their work was repeated by Harold Croto, James R. Heath, Sean O'Brien, Robert Curl, and Richard Smalley at Rice University, who recognized the structure of C60 as Buckminster fullerene. Croto, Curl and Smalley were awarded the 1996 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their roles in the discovery of Buckminster fullerene and the related class of molecules, the fullerenes. Buckminster fullerene is the most common naturally occurring fullerene. It can be found in small quantities in soot. The molecule has been detected in deep space. Etymology The discoverers of the allotrope named the newfound molecule after Buckminster Fuller, who designed many geodesic dome structures that look similar to C60. This is slightly misleading, however, as Fuller's geodesic domes are constructed from triangles and not hexagons or pentagons. A common, shortened name for Buckminster fullerene is Bucky Balls. History Theoretical predictions of buckyball molecules appeared in the late 1960s and early 1970s, but these reports went largely unnoticed. In the early 1970s, the chemistry of unsaturated carbon configurations was studied by a group at the University of Sussex, led by Harry Croto and David Walton. In the 1980s, Smalley and Curl at Rice University developed experimental technique to generate these substances. They used laser vaporization of a suitable target to produce clusters of atoms. Croto realized that by using a graphite target, a range of carbon clusters could be studied. Concurrent but unconnected to the Croto Smalley work, astrophysicists were working with spectroscopists to study infrared emissions from giant red carbon stars. Smalley and team were able to use a laser vaporization technique to create carbon clusters which could potentially emit infrared at the same wavelength as had been emitted by the red carbon star. Hence, the inspiration came to Smalley and team to use the laser technique on graphite to generate fullerenes. C60 was discovered in 1985 by Robert Curl, Harold Croto, and Richard Smalley. Using laser evaporation of graphite they found CN clusters where N greater than 20 and even of which the most common were C60 and C70. A solid rotating graphite disk was used as the surface from which carbon was vaporized using a laser beam creating hot plasma that was then passed through a stream of high-density helium gas. The carbon species were subsequently cooled and ionized resulting in the formation of clusters. Clusters ranged in molecular masses, but Croto and Smalley found predominance in a C60 cluster that could be enhanced further by allowing the plasma react longer. They also discovered that the C60 molecule formed a cage-like structure, a regular truncated icosahedron. For this discovery Curl, Croto, and Smalley were awarded the 1996 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. The experimental evidence, a strong peak at 720 atomic mass units, indicated that a carbon molecule with 60 carbon atoms was forming, but provided no structural information. The research group concluded after reactivity experiments, that the most likely structure was a spheroidal molecule. The idea was quickly rationalized as the basis of an icosahedral symmetry closed cage structure. Croto mentioned geodesic dome structures of the noted futurist and inventor Buckminster Fuller as influences in the naming of this particular substance as Buckminster Fullerene. In 1989, physicists Wolfgang Kratchmer, Konstantinos Fosteropoulos, and Donald R. Huffman observed unusual optical absorptions in thin films of carbon dust soot. The soot had been generated by an arc process between two graphite electrodes in a helium atmosphere where the electrode material evaporates and condenses forming soot in the quenching atmosphere. 
Among other features, the IR spectra of the soot showed four discrete bands in close agreement to those proposed for C60. Another paper on the characterization and verification of the molecular structure followed on in the same year, 1990, from their thin film experiments, and detailed also the extraction of an evaporable as well as benzene soluble material from the arc generated soot. This extract had TAM and X-ray crystal analysis consistent with arrays of spherical C60 molecules, approximately 1.0 nanometers in van der Waals diameter as well as the expected molecular mass of 720U for C60, and 840U for C70, in their mass spectra. The method was simple and efficient to prepare the material in gram amounts per day, 1990, which has boosted the fullerene research and is even today applied for the commercial production of fullerenes. The discovery of practical routes to C60 led to the exploration of a new field of chemistry involving the study of fullerenes. Synthesis Soot is produced by laser ablation of graphite or pyrolysis of aromatic hydrocarbons. Fullerenes are extracted from the soot with organic solvents using a soxlid extractor. This step yields a solution containing up to 75% of C60, as well as other fullerenes. These fractions are separated using chromatography. Generally, the fullerenes are dissolved in a hydrocarbon or halogenated hydrocarbon and separated using alumina columns. Structure Buckminster fullerene is a truncated icosahedron with 60 vertices and 32 faces, 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons where no pentagons share a vertex with a carbon atom at the vertices of each polygon and a bond along each polygon edge. The van der Waals diameter of a C60 molecule is about 1.01 nanometers nm. The nucleus to nucleus diameter of a C60 molecule is about 0.71 nanometers. The C60 molecule has two bond lengths. The 6 to 6 ring bonds between two hexagons can be considered double bonds and are shorter than the 6 to 5 bonds between a hexagon and a pentagon. Its average bond length is 0.14 nanometers. Each carbon atom in the structure is bonded covalently with three others. Properties Buckminster fullerene is the largest object observed to exhibit wave particle duality. Theoretically, every object exhibits this behavior. The compound is stable, withstanding high temperatures and high pressures. The exposed surface of the structure can selectively react with other species while maintaining the spherical geometry. Beam experiments conducted between 1985 and 1990 provided more evidence for the stability of C60 while supporting the closed cage structural theory and predicting some of the bulk properties such a molecule would have. Around this time, intense theoretical group theory activity also predicted that C60 should have only four IR active vibrational bands. On account of its icosahedral symmetry, C60 undergoes six reversible, one electron reductions to C6 60, but oxidation is irreversible. The first reduction needs approximately equals 1.0 volts, FC, FC, showing that C60 is a moderately effective electron acceptor. C60 tends to avoid having double bonds in the pentagonal rings, which makes electron delocalization poor, and results in C60 not being super aromatic. C60 behaves very much like an electron deficient alkene and readily reacts with electron rich species. A carbon atom in the C60 molecule can be substituted by a nitrogen or boron atom yielding a C59N or C59B, respectively. Solution Fullerenes are sparingly soluble in aromatic solvents such as toluene and carbon disulfide, but insoluble in water. Solutions of pure C60 have a deep purple color which leaves a brown residue upon evaporation. The reason for this color change is the relatively narrow energy width of the band of molecular levels responsible for green light absorption by individual C60 molecules. Thus individual molecules transmit some blue and red light resulting in a purple color. Upon drying, intermolecular interaction results in the overlap and broadening of the energy bands, thereby eliminating the blue light transmittance and causing the purple to brown color change. C60 crystallizes with some solvents in the lattice. Solvates. 
For example, crystallization of C60 in benzene solution yields triclinic crystals with the formula C64C6H6. Like other solvates, this one readily releases benzene to give the usual FCC C60. Millimeter-sized crystals of C60 and C70 can be grown from solution both for solvates and for pure fullerenes. Solid In solid Buckminster fullerene, the C60 molecules adopt the FCC, face-centered cubic motif. They start rotating at about minus 20 degrees Celsius. This change is associated with a first-order phase transition to FCC structure and a small, yet abrupt increase in the lattice constant from 1.411 to 1.4154 nm. C60 solid is as soft as graphite, but when compressed to less than 70% of its volume it transforms into a super-hard form of diamond, see aggregated diamond nanorod. C60 films and solution have strong nonlinear optical properties, in particular, their optical absorption increases with light intensity, saturable absorption. C60 forms a brownish solid with an optical absorption threshold at approximately equals 1.6 electron volts. It is an N-type semiconductor with a low activation energy of 0.1 to 0.3 electron volts. This conductivity is attributed to intrinsic or oxygen-related defects. FCC C60 contains voids at its octahedral and tetrahedral sites which are sufficiently large, 0.6 and 0.2 nanometers respectively, to accommodate impurity atoms. When alkali metals are doped into these voids, C60 converts from a semiconductor into a conductor or even superconductor. Chemical reactions and properties Hydrogenation C60 exhibits a small degree of aromatic character, but it still reflects localized double and single C-C bond characters. Therefore, C60 can undergo addition with hydrogen to give polyhydrofullerenes. C60 also undergoes Birch reduction. For example, C60 reacts with lithium in liquid ammonia, followed by tert butanol to give a mixture of polyhydrofullerenes such as C60H18, C60H32, C60H36, with C60H32 being the dominating product. This mixture of polyhydrofullerenes can be re-oxidized by 2,3-dichloro-5,6-dicyano-1,4 benzoquinone to give C60 again. Selective hydrogenation method exists. Reaction of C60 with 9,9,10,10-dihydroanthracene under the same conditions, depending on the time of reaction, gives C60H32 and C60H18 respectively and selectively. C60 can be hydrogenated, suggesting that a modified Buckminster fullerene called organometallic buckyballs OBBs, could become a vehicle for high density, room temperature, ambient pressure storage of hydrogen. These OBBs are created by binding atoms of a transition metal TM to C60 or C48B12 and then binding many hydrogen atoms to this TM atom, dispersing them evenly throughout the inside of the organometallic buckyball. The study found that the theoretical amount of H2 that can be retrieved from the OBB at ambient pressure approaches 9WT%, a mass fraction that has been designated as optimal for hydrogen fuel by the U.S. Department of Energy. Halogenation Addition of fluorine, chlorine, and bromine occurs for C60. Fluorine atoms are small enough for a 1,2 addition, while Cl2 and bridge 2 add to remote C atoms due to steric factors. For example, in N, the bridge atoms are in 1, 3 or 1, 4 positions with respect to each other. Under various conditions a vast number of halogenated derivatives of C60 can be produced, some with extraordinary selectivity on one or two isomers over the other possible ones. Addition of fluorine and chlorine usually results in a flattening of the C60 framework into a drum-shaped molecule. Addition of oxygen atoms Solutions of C60 can be oxygenated to the epoxide C6OO. Ozonation of C60 in 1, 2 xylene at 257 K gives an intermediate ozonide C6OO3, which can be decomposed into two forms of C6OO. 
Decomposition of C6003 at 296 K gives the epoxide, but photolysis gives a product in which the O atom bridges a 5,6 edig. Cycloadditions The Diels Alder reaction is commonly employed to functionalize C60. Reaction of C60 with appropriate substituted Dean gives the corresponding adduct. The Diels Alder reaction between C60 and 3, 6 Diaryl1, 2, 4, 5 tetrazines affords C62. The C62 has the structure in which a four membered ring is surrounded by four six membered rings. The C60 molecules can also be coupled through a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition, giving the dumbbell shaped compound C120. The coupling is achieved by high speed vibrating milling of C60 with a catalytic amount of KCN. The reaction is reversible as C120 dissociates back to two C60 molecules when heated at 450 K, 177 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Under high pressure and temperature, repeated 2 plus 2 cycloaddition between C60 results in a polymerized fullerene chains and networks. These polymers remain stable at ambient pressure and temperature once formed, and have remarkably interesting electronic and magnetic properties, such as being ferromagnetic above room temperature. Free radical reactions Reactions of C60 with free radicals readily occur. When C60 is mixed with a disulfide RSSR, the radical C6OSR forms spontaneously upon irradiation of the mixture. Stability of the radical species C6OY depends largely on steric factors of Y. When tert butyl halide is photolyzed and allowed to react with C60, a reversible inter cage CC bond is formed. Cyclopropanation, Bingle reaction Cyclopropanation, the Bingel reaction, is another common method for functionalizing C60. Cyclopropanation of C60 mostly occurs at the junction of two hexagons due to steric factors. The first cyclopropanation was carried out by treating the beta bromomalinate with C60 in the presence of a base. Cyclopropanation also occur readily with diazomethanes. For example, diphenyldiazomethane reacts readily with C60 to give the compound C61PH2, phenyl C61-butyric acid methyl ester derivative prepared through cyclopropanation has been studied for use in organic solar cells. Redox reactions, C60 anions and cations C60 anions the LUMO in C60 is triply degenerate, with the HOMO-LUMO separation relatively small. This small gap suggests that reduction of C60 should occur at mild potentials leading to fulleride anions, C60, N minus, N equals 1 to 6. The midpoint potentials of one electron reduction of Buckminster fullerene and its anions is given in the table below. C60 forms a variety of charge transfer complexes, for example with tetricus, dimethylamino, ethylene, C60 plus C2, NME2, 4, C2, NME2, 4, plus, C60, minus this salt exhibits ferromagnetism at 16 K. C60 cations C60 oxidizes with difficulty. Three reversible oxidation processes have been observed by using cyclic voltometry with ultra-dry methylene chloride and a supporting electrolyte with extremely high oxidation resistance and low nucleophilicity, such as NBU4N ASF6, which the C62 plus ion is very unstable, and the third process can be studied only at low temperatures. The redox potentials of C60 can be modified supramolecularly. A dibenzo 18 crown 6 derivative of C60 has been made, featuring a voltage sensor device, with a reversible binding of K plus ion causing an anodic shift of 90 mV of the first C60 reduction. Metal complexes C60 forms complexes akin to the more common alkenes. Complexes have been reported molybdenum, tungsten, platinum, palladium, iridium, and titanium. The pentacarbonyl species are produced by photochemical reactions. 
M C O six plus C sixty M A to two C six O C O five plus C O M equals Mo W. In the case of platinum complex, the labile ethylene ligand is the leaving group in a thermal reaction. Pt A to two C two H four PPH three two plus C sixty Pt A to two C six O PPH three two plus C two H four titanosine complexes have also been reported. Ada five CP two T Ada two CH three three six CSI CH three three plus C sixty Ada five CP two T Ada two C six O plus CH three three six CSI CH three three coordinatively unsaturated precursors such as Vasquez complex for adducts with C sixty trans IR CO CL PPH3 2 plus C60 IR CO CL A to 2 C60 PPH3 2 1 such iridium complex IR A to 2 C60 CO CL PH2 CH2 C6 H4 OCH2 PH2 has been prepared where the metal center projects two electron rich arms that embrace the C60 guest Endohedral fullerenes Metal atoms or certain small molecules such as H2 and noble gas can be encapsulated inside the C60 cage. These endohedral fullerenes are usually synthesized by doping in the metal atoms in an arc reactor or by laser evaporation. These methods gives low yields of endohedral fullerenes, and a better method involves the opening of the cage, packing in the atoms or molecules, and closing the opening using certain organic reactions. This method, however, is still immature and only a few species have been synthesized this way. Endohedral fullerenes show distinct and intriguing chemical properties that can be completely different from the encapsulated atom or molecule, as well as the fullerene itself. The encapsulated atoms have been shown to perform circular motions inside the C60 cage, and its motion has been followed by using NMR spectroscopy. Applications In the medical field, elements such as helium, that can be detected in minute quantities, can be used as chemical tracers in impregnated buckyballs. Water-soluble derivatives of C60 were discovered to exert an inhibition on the three isoforms of nitric oxide synthase, with slightly different potencies. The optical absorption properties of C60 match solar spectrum in a way that suggests that C60-based films could be useful for photovoltaic applications. Because of its high electronic affinity it is one of the most common electron acceptors used in donor, acceptor-based solar cells. Conversion efficiencies up to 5.7% have been reported in C60 polymer cells. References Safety Solutions of C60 dissolved in olive oil are non-toxic to rodents. Bibliography Katz, E. A. 2006. Fullerene thin films as photovoltaic material. In Soga, Tetsuo. Nanostructured materials for solar energy conversion. Elsevier. pp. 361-443. ISBN 978-0-444-52844-5. Further reading. Croto, H. W., Heath, J. R., O'Brien, S. C., Curl, R. F., Smalley, R. E. November 1985. C60, Buckminster Fullerene. PDF. Nature. 318-14, 162 163. Bibcode, 1985Natur.318, 162K. doi, 10.1038, 318162A0, describing the original discovery of C60. Hebgen, Peter, Goal, Anish, Howard, Jack B., Rainey, Lenore C., Van der Sande, John B. 2000. Fullerenes and Nanostructures in Diffusion Flames. PDF. Proceedings of the Combustion Institute, 28 1397 1404. 
doi 10.1016 soo 0 report describing the synthesis of C60 with combustion research published in 2000 at the 28th International Symposium on Combustion. External links History of C60's discovery carried out by the Chemistry Department at Bristol University A brief overview of Buckminster Fullerene described by the University of Wisconsin-Madison A report by Ming Kai College detailing the properties of Buckminster Fullerene Donald R. Huffman and Wolfgang Kratchmer's paper pertaining to the synthesis of C60 in Nature published in 1990 a thorough description of C60 by the Oak Ridge National Laboratory An article about Buckminster Fullerene on Connections Science Encyclopedia Extensive statistical data compiled by the University of Sussex on the numerical quantitative properties of Buckminster Fullerene a web portal dedicated to Buckminster Fullerene, authored and supported by the University of Bristol. Another web portal dedicated to Buckminster Fullerene, authored and supported by the Chemistry Department at the University of Bristol. A brief article entirely devoted to C60 and its discovery, structure, production, properties, and applications. American Chemical Society's complete article on Buckminster Fullerene. Buckminster Fullerene at the Periodic Table of Videos, University of Nottingham.